Two buzz, you two buzz, Berg here. Tonight, do a little shout outs, and I also want to show just some some of the products you get to refurbish a pipe, to get the ghost out of a pipe, uh, some things I use to, uh, well, you know, it's cheap to do, really. If you buy it a little at a time, it's just really not that expensive to redo a pipe. You can do it by hand. You don't have to have a buffing wheel. Uh, you can hand buff everything. And, uh, yeah. And I'm going to show you. But first, let's get some things out of the way. We're drinking on a little OMS coffee for that is mighty good. And I'm chooching some special out of Kia because I'm in love with stuff. And I'm going to chooch that tin up before it dries out. Chooching it in a... I always... Wellington. A Wellington almost darn near gifted to me by love that pea lip. And all I've done was uh, messed with that stem a little bit, just hand buffed it a little bit, and uh, I cleaned the bow. Soaked the stem in alcohol and buffed it out a little bit, but really hadn't done a whole lot to that pipe. Enjoying that little pipe. Got a little Copenhagen for it. Tis mighty good, mighty good. Copenhagen snow. Got a tamper gifted to me by Carvin Piper, my good friend. I put it on my finger. My good friend Carvin Piper, Jared. Thank you, Jared, for the old tamper Rooney. I've been using her. Look on to it. Look on to it. Been using it. And the way he designed that, he made it like a bullet, but it's got like little rough. I'm talking about cleaning out a bow. We can clean out a bow with it. I want to do a little shout out why it's fresh on my mind. Maritime Piper. Good fella right there. He's brand spanking baby new. Go check him out. Good fella. Starting to enjoy his channels. Mighty, mighty good. Mighty good. And there's a couple more fellas I want to do. Ronan Piper, Jason. Ronan. Go check him out. Good fella. Really enjoying his channel. That's Ronan. Ronan. Everybody want to say it? I call him old Jason. My little brother's name, Jason. Talking to him on Boxer. Really enjoying the conversations. Darwin. Darwin Piper. I'll never say that right, but any words. Real McCoy Piper. That's my boy. Todd, my boy. Go check him out. Go check him out. Go check him out. Uh, let's see who else we got here. I want to shoot you. Uh, let's shout out old L.L. Haynes. No shame in his games. My boy Scotch and Pipes, go check him out. He's been around for a minute, but I still consider him a newbie. A newbie, Scooby Dooby. Oh, yeah, Buckeye Piper and her husband, uh, T. Durr. I don't know how to say that. Good fella, go check him out. And Buckeye Cat. Good people. Good fellers. Good good people. Ways of Java. Good fella, go check him out. Go check out Paw Paw. Paw Paw Piper. Good fella. Good fella. Let's do one more. Let's do Ben the Bag Piper. Good, good fella. Go check him out. But anyway, I'm going to stop there. Go check out. He's always check. Go check out Sean. Ghost Cobb. I'm going to shout him out because he's always shouting out everybody. Okay, what you need on your stems and your bows, what I use, and I only use 400 and 800. I start out with a four, then I buff it down with a rag. Let me pause it. Okay. What I'll do is, is I'll sand it down. I'll start out with the 400 sandpaper. I'll sand that bow down or that stem down, and I'll wet sand it. I'll wet sand it. I always wet sand it. Keep my, my paper wet. And I'll buff it out with this rag. 
It's an old t-shirt, and when I get done with this one, I'll get me another old t-shirt, and I'll do it again. Okay, then I'll go to the 800, and I'll, I'll sand that wet sand that bow and that stem again. I, I do, I, I usually finish my stem or my bow, but I'm just telling you. Now I take that 800, and I'll sand that bowl again. But look, I'm getting ahead of myself. I take that bow and stem, I clean it in some alcohol first. Get her all cleaned up. I get these long, cheap cleaners. They're not really good for much but cleaning. Uh, get them from Walmart, really dirt cheap. They're long and cut them in half, or you can just scrub back and forth with them real good in the pipe and the, the uh, stem and get it just really clean. That's the kind of alcohol I use, 91%. Isopropyl. Isopropyl. Yeah, that's what I use right there. Uh-huh. And then I'll clean that old, I'll take a toothbrush and I'll clean that bow and I'll clean that that uh, stem, just let it soak in there for a minute and I'll clean them up, get them cleaned on the inside with the, and then I'll go sanding on them. I'll sand on stem with the 400 and I'll go to the 800 and I'll buff it out with my rag. <clears throat> now I'll do my bow the same way. I'll clean the outside of it. Get it all stripped, stripped. I don't strip it all the way down. I just go to the 400 and buff it out with this rag. And then, uh, then what I do with my stems, I put it on the buffer with a little red rouge. And I'll show y'all how to do this. This is just showing you the material I use, and then I'm going to show you how I do it. I put a little red rouge on my buffing wheel that I only use red rouge on, and I'll buff that stem out of that. Then after I do that, I'll wipe it down real good, and I'll go to the white diamonds. I'll get her buffed out with some white diamonds. Then I'll put me a little carnauba wax on it. Yes, I do. On that stem. Then on my bow, I'll set that. I will set that bow. I'll take it off the stem, off, of course, and I'll set it in a bow like that right there. Like that right there. And then I'll take me some of this kosher sauce. And it's, it's pretty coarse stuff. It's pretty heavy-duty sauce. And I'll fill that bow up with that salt. And then I'll fill it up with alcohol. And I really don't care if some spills out on it. It it can, but, you know, I've already stripped that bow down pretty good by then. But let it set 24 hours. But before I do that, I take and clean that bow out as best I can. All the cake that I can. Sand it out. Get it smooth like I want it. Get it down far as I want it. And then that's when I do the alcohol treatment. Fill it up with salt and alcohol, let it set 24 hours. Then I, I'll wipe it out, clean it out real good, and may sand on it some more. Yes, I do. Now to get rid of the ghost and funk and everything else. And then I've got Danish oil. And I don't take, with what I use, the alcohol cleaning and the sand and the little bit of sanding that I do, it don't take all the stain out. And I'll take this, this is dark walnut, but it always sort of turns out the color of the pipe. Whatever the pipe was, I put a little of that Danish oil on there. Rub it off. I put it on. Applicate it with one of these. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. And then uh, I'll show you step by step. Wipe it off. I might hand buff it after it dries to see how it looks. But then I put it on the buffing wheel with some carnauba. And after I get that car new on it, I'll hand buff it again. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Hey, Alan. This is some dye. Yeah, this is some dye that I use on uh, yeah, cobs to mod them, and you can use it on pipes too. Yeah, I'm going to do my thing. And that's a food grade dye. Won't hurt you. Sometimes some steel wool comes in handy, but I don't use it merch. The sandpaper seems to do good. I keep some uh, beeswax around. If I got a stem that's loose, I'll put a little beeswax on it. Make that stem tighten up. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Little tricks I've learned all over the YTPC from different fellas. Joe Davis from watching 1972 Woodsman. Uh, different folks in the YTPC that I know and trust and like. 
whatnot and so forth and what have you. I was trying to look for another guy that I listened to. I can't think of his name. His name is Cane Rod Piper, I think's his name. Cane Rod. Y'all know the fella I'm trying to talk about there. I thought he had a video up, but I guess he don't. Cane Rod Piper's pretty good at this stuff. I took a few things from him, a few things from Joe Davis, a few things from 1972 Woodsman, a few things from Smokey Mo. Uh, Smokey Mo refurbishes a few pipes and uses minimum tools and minimum products to do it with and does some of the best work that I've ever seen. That's Smokey Mo. We call him Jimbo. He's our friend on Boxer. Check him out. Look on to his channel. But this is some of the stuff that Berg uses. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it works for me. Satisfies me. I refurbish some pipes for some friends. I don't charge them nothing. Because I'm practicing. Yes, I am. But any words, I wanted to do this video and kind of show people the first first part of this video, just the products that I use. I'll show you step by step how to do the bow, how to get the ghost out of your pipe. Then I'll show you how to do the stem. I'll show you how to sand down the bow. I'll show you the buffing process, and I'll show you each one of these products as I'm using it. But I just kind of wanted you to get used to the products if you wanted to go try to buy some of this stuff and get ready. I thought it'd be something fun to do. I enjoy it. I enjoy doing my pipes. I really do. Really enjoy modding a few. I've been modding a few cobs. Been doing this and that. But anyway, just a quick video to get everybody so familiar with the products you need to refurbish a pipe and uh, get it looking good again. Get it get it clean anyway. And uh, put them back into uh, put them back into the rotation. Yes, sir. Everybody come back and say hello. I want to thank all my old subscribers, all my new subscribers. Simple. I want everybody to come back and say hello, Bird. I'm always here. Yes, I am. Chooching, messing around. Peace out. Be good to one another. Come back and see me.